An accused burglar picked the wrong house to break into in Polk County. The homeowner shot him. It happened on Grove Avenue in Lake Wales, and Fox 13's Ken Suarez tells us how it happened. Tony Corwell had just gone to bed around 7.30 in the morning after working a night shift. His three-year-old and infant were sleeping in the house, too. Police say a few hours later, this man, Michael Collins, made a surprise appearance. Collins, an ex-con who's been to prison on burglary and drug charges. That's the way he kept my screen. <laughs> Detectives say then Collins pulled out this crowbar, forced open a sliding door, and got in. When Corwell heard a crash, he woke up. Still groggy, he came face to face with the intruder. I was scared for my kids, first and foremost, so I love my kids to death, so I would protect them with any length. But first he had to protect himself. Detectives say Collins took a swing at Corwell with the crowbar and just missed him. Corwell went for his gun and shot one, two rounds, hitting him in the head and the arm. Investigators say as Collins ran outside to his van, Corwell fired five more rounds with one thought in mind. Stop him, stop the vehicle because I didn't want him to get in the way and hurting somebody else. A bullet blew out his tire and the van rolled over in a nearby grove. If convicted, Collins could face life in prison. Now what about the homeowner? Does he face anything? At this time, no. Nothing other than his neighbor's take on all this. Too bad he couldn't have hit him with the other three rounds. Uh, if they break in, tough luck. At least that's the way it turned out this time. He told detectives that he just happened to be passing through Lake Wells and on a whim decided to break into that particular house because there was no car in the driveway. As teachers say to little kids, that was obviously a very bad choice. Cynthia? Yeah, no kidding. Thanks so much. Ken Suarez live in Lakeland. John. All right.